Hey all your students, this is Prish Chaudhary Quantum Group. Uh, let's see this very good question of rigid body dynamics. Uh, this is meant for those preparing for IITJ Advanced or Olympiad. So the question states a uniform block A of mass 25 kg, length uh, 6 meter, hinge at C, supported by small block B and pulled by a constant force F, 400 Newton, horizontally. So what is the speed of B after it moves 1.5 meter, mass of block B is 2.5 uh, kg. So let's proceed to solve this question. So this is the initial moment. At the initial moment, this peg uh, is at the middle of the main block. And we have to notice that this main block whose mass is 25 kg A uh, has to be always horizontal. So uh, it is static and uh, does not move. So net torque about any point and net force about uh, net force is always zero. So uh, this is the initial moment and let's see uh, after some time when the peg has moved a little bit distance x and at this moment let me first draw the FPD of the smaller block and see what forces are acting on it. So suppose let me draw the FPD here. First of all there will be a normal from this bigger block uh, say that normal is N1 normal from the floor and say that is n2 its own weight uh, mass is 2.5 kg so directly writing i am weight 25 newton and the pull force that f i'll write the value of f letter that is 400 and as it is pulled uh, horizontally towards side so there will be friction from both surface from the upper surface uh, by the block a and also from the lower surface by the block um, from the ground so that normal is mu n1 and from here also the normal is mu n2 and suppose its acceleration is a uh, let's leave it so one thing is that n2 is equal to uh, n1 plus its weight 25 kg. now let me draw the fbd of the main block that is the block a so what will be there the reaction of this N1 will be here. This reaction will be here N1. The reaction of this friction mu N1 will be here. That will be here mu N1. Its own weight mass was 25 kg. So weight is 250 Newton. And there will be uh, reactions at the hinge nx and ny so i am not interested in nx and ny i am interested in n1 because that is what the forces are acting on the hinge so from the main body a let me try to find n1 at this moment and because the torque is always zero so let me take torque about h as zero so torque about s zero at this general moment when the peg has moved the distance x so torque because of uh, these forces uh, nx ny and mu n1 is zero because their line of action is either at h or towards h so torque is only because of these two forces and they have to be opposite so torque due to n1 is n1 into uh, this distance is 3 plus x n1 3 plus x And that balanced by the torque due to its weight, that is uh, 250 into 3. So N1 at the moment is uh, 750 uh, divided by 3 plus x. So now, now see the motion of this block after it has traveled a certain distance, say uh, 1.5 meter. So we have to find the velocity of this block. So I will use the work energy theorem. I can use the force method also. So the work energy theorem will do the work done by all and equate it to change in kinetic energy. So applying work energy theorem, work done by all is equal to change in kinetic energy. So normal reactions do not do, do don't do any work. So the main work is work done by friction and the work done by the applied force add up to delta k. So first let me find the work done by the both friction. So, 
total frictional force this is the frictional force this is the frictional force so fr net frictional force is mu n1 plus n2 and n2 is equal to n1 plus 25 so this is a mu n2 2 n1 plus 25 and uh, n1 mu given to be how much is mu given in the equation is 0 0.3 so 0 0.3 into 2n1 here from here 2n1 this is a, a 1500 divided by 3 plus x and that is 25 so let's come here so work done by friction is uh, minus fr dx and that is from 0 to 1.5 so this is minus 0 0.3 1500 divided by 3 plus x plus 25 and dx 0 to 1.5 so i can uh, multiply this by 0 0.3 so that will be 450 3 plus x plus 7.5 and negative sign in the outside and dx 0 to 1.5 so integrate it so it will be minus 450 ln 3 plus x 0 to 1.5 and that will be simply minus 7.5 into 1.5 so this is minus 450 and that is going to be ln 4.5 by 3 so that will be ln 3 by 2 and minus you can take a negative common 7.5 into 1.5 and now apply the working theorem here so work done by friction we've got minus 450 ln 3 by 2 plus 7.5 into 1.5 the f the magnitude of f is how much 400 newton so work done by f is 400 into 1.5 and this is equal to half change in kinetic energy half into 2.5 into v square minus 0 and put the value we will get the answer thank you